Hello, welcome back to my channel. Previously we have discussed a little about online displays where we have learned to add alphanumerical displays. We recommend that you watch my previous video for more details. This time I will explain about the generic layout editor at Chinzi. Wherein the generic layout display tools are very useful and often used. One of the functions of a generic layout display is to create a display like an alphanumerical display. One of the displays of a generic layout display is like this. There are four kinds of menus on the generic layout display. The first is driver. This driver is very useful when you want to output raw data from Chinzi to other equipment such as Sidescan Sonar or Maggi. The second is display. This display is just like the one I showed you earlier. This display is very similar to an alphanumerical display. Most likely, for the next version of Chinzi, the alphanumerical display will be replaced by the display from the generic layout editor. The third is log file. The log file menu is very useful for recording both raw data and calculation data in the form of ASCII files or text files. The fourth is export which functions to export the database. Now we'll try to create a generic layout editor. Close the online mode of Chinzi or go offline first. On the main window of Chinzi, select Generic Layout Editor, then the Generic Layout Editor window will appear. On the Purpose menu tab, you can choose whether you want to choose the output driver, display, log file, or export. Suppose you are going to create an output driver. You can choose the data delimiter, it can be comma, tab, space, or advanced delimiter. You can also set the output mode, it can be based on time, by fix, system, or event. I don't currently have any sensors connected. But as an example, I'll open an example of an output driver that was used in a previous project. The first example is the output driver used to transmit data to the Sidescan sonar. Let's take a look at the data layout created. Source looks red because this layout is taken from another project so it is unreadable. I'm going to edit this layout so that the source doesn't look red anymore. When you're done editing, don't forget to save these settings so they don't get lost. Now we're going to try calling the driver layout for the streamer. I'll try to edit and save it like before. If you want to create a new layout, I'll show you how to add data. This is just an example and will not be used.
Now let's create the display and log files from the generic layout editor. For the export database, I will skip it and I will discuss it in another video only so that this video is not too long. Again, this is just an example, not representative of the actual project needs. You can create what you need according to your project. To add items to the log file and display are essentially the same. Enter what you need, whether it's position, depth, easting, northing, latitude, longitude or speed of the boat. It all depends on your individual needs. Now try to enable online mode. To add a display from the generic layout editor, click the display manager button. Then add a generic layout display. A new windows will appear. On this windows, call the display settings that we saved earlier. Since I chose a white background, the text is not visible, I will edit it again in the generic layout editor to green. For log files that have been created, activate them first so that the log files can work. Go to Session Setup, and on the Storage tab select Log File. Check the newly created log file. Then click OK. To make sure the log file is working, we must record the data. 
Remember, I didn't set up the recording correctly, I just wanted to show the work of the log file and display. In principle, the log file will store the data in the file text. I will try to record the data for a few moments. After some data is deemed sufficient, I will stop recording and open the log file data. If you look, the log file has worked fine. The data according to the settings already exists. Remember I don't have an actual sensor at the moment, so there might be a slight error in the log file. But I hope you understand what I mean. For the output driver, you need to be in offline mode and open your settings database. Once your database is open, under auxiliary systems, add a new system. Select type is the output system. Then the IO parameter select user defined generic output. Again, since I don't have a real sensor and only a simulation, I can't set it further. But the basic principle is this. The number of the COM port, depending on your settings, will output data to be connected to other equipment such as the side scan sonar. In addition to the generic output driver, if the output data format is a standard format such as GPGGA, then you can add NMEA with QA and port settings for the output. I think I'm going to finish my video this time, I hope you understand the basic principles of the generic layout editor. Share this video with your friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.